and the Kentucky Department of Agriculture looking forward to this new year. They're also uh, holding on to some of the highlights and looking back at uh, what happened in the department over in 2014. That's right, James Comer, Kentucky Agriculture Commissioner, is here today with a look back and a look ahead. Right. Thank you very much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. As you look at 14, what would you say were the highlights? Well, it was a real renaissance period for agriculture in Kentucky. You, you look at what's going on in agriculture. Uh, there are jobs being created all over the state. New ag processors are locating in Kentucky because we have good farmers here and because of programs like the Kentucky Proud Program. So we've been able to create jobs all over the state, open up new markets for farmers. We have new crops in this state for the first time, like canola and like hemp. So uh, there's more and more vegetable production. Uh, we're meeting with Kroger as we speak to, to sign a contract with perishable items from con grown by Kentucky farmers to, to be put on the shelves at, at the Kroger stores that are, will be Kentucky Proud fruit and vegetable products. So uh, we look back at 2014 and we can see a lot of successes in agriculture and it, it is great because we've been able to help keep a lot of family farmers on their family farms. Uh, we went through a spell there about a decade ago where a lot of family farms were having to be split up uh, because they just couldn't make a profit and, and live on the farm. So 2014 was a great year, but we're optimistic and we think 2015 will be even better. Uh, what about agriculture education? Yes. What are you doing with that? Well, I'm very close with all of the agriculture teachers in the state. We're promoting a program now called the FFA and 4-H Farm Ag Tag Program. When farm license plates are renewed, they're renewed in the month of March. They're not like our personal vehicles come due uh, the month of our birthday. Farm vehicles are, are different. They come due in March. When farmers renew their farm license plates, they have the option of making a $10 donation. They don't have to, but they have the option of making a $10 donation that goes uh, to, to the Department of Agriculture and it's split three ways between the Kentucky Proud Program, FFA, and 4-H. It's been a huge success. Every year I've been Ag Commissioner, that uh, money has increased. It's well over half a million dollars in voluntary donations that go back to the 4-H and FFA. The 4-H and FFA are important in agriculture because those are the future leaders of agriculture. So we work very closely with those organizations. You have uh, some big plans later in this week. Uh, you'll be filing for the yes. Office of Governor, but you're already out there campaigning. Yeah, I've you? been campaigning for four months. Uh, we filed a statement of intent on September the 9th, which means we intended to file. You couldn't file officially before the end of the November elections in 2014. So I've been on the campaign trail for four months. It's been great. The message, the message is resonating well with people all over the state. Uh, last quarter, we turned in our campaign finance reports, and I outraged Jack Conway three to one. So uh, that shows that uh, we have a great organization. Four more months till the primary, and then six months after that, the general election. So we're campaigning and hard and, and, and enjoying it. A lot going on. A lot going on. Okay, thank you very much thank for coming you. in.